Gemnitz, Hiphil. Okay, let's look at the Hiphil now. And uh, it may be useful for you to have your hollow verb table open for the Hiphil because there's quite a lot of similarities between these two. Here we have the paradigm for Savav. And what shall we say about it? Well, the first thing I guess, again, is that we, this divides into two groups. The red ones here are the ones that have the tsere as the prefix vowel. And the rest of them have comets, okay? Except for this one down here where comets is reduced. But it's all coming from comets anyway. Um, so we have tsere here, just like we do for the prefix vowel for the hollow verbs. So we're dealing with gemnas, but if you compare the hollow verbs, you'll see that the prefix vowels line up. So, uh, we have tsere here, over here we have comets, again, which is the same as the hollow verbs. In the cal and the hifil, you have comets here, and in the nifal, the comets is over here. So you can compare your tables again if you, if you uh, aren't sure on that. But the one thing that is nice is that, hofa, or that um, hollows and gemnets have the same, same pattern for the prefix vowels in the nifal and the hifil. So these are the forms with tsere. may look a little like a first vav. Remember you have that e type with two tseres here, but you just have to keep that straight. Look, look up the, the verb itself if you're not sure. Um, the he is a bit of a giveaway that you'll probably have a hifil. Okay. Um, theme vowel. The theme vowel is tsere through all these forms. Okay, you see that there? Now here it's reduced. You go yasev, yasev, and then for the preterite, by Yasev, but we've seen that many times. We have a shift of the accent and a, uh, a reduction from Tsere to Segol, go shorter. Um, we'll see a reduction here as well. We may as well talk about this right now. We have the second person switch, of course, as I, you see I can, I've, I've highlighted. And uh, the Tsere has reduced to a Chataf Patach, which it does in the hollow verbs as well. Take a look at that. We have tsere to chataf patach. Here, our tsere, our second tsere, our theme vowel is reduced to hitik. For the hollow verb, the hollow hifil, it doesn't reduce. And that's because we have hitik yud here, and so hitik yud stays. And it stays through all the forms. Or it stays as the theme vowel. There's some forms where it moves about a bit. Um, I think, yes. Down here in these, these forms in the hollow, it changes. But for most of them, it stays. And it stays here. You don't reduce it here. And the, so the third thing, we have two things. Prefix vowel reduces, uh, theme vowel reduces, and then of course we have our helping vowel, the holom vav. So this is very similar, very similar to what we have in the hollow verbs in the perfect, the second person switch. Okay, let's check our notes, see what else I missed here. Prefix vowel, this is for perfect and participle tsere, like the hollow. Okay, so tsere there. Tsere there is a prefix vowels. Theme vowel is tsere, unlike the hollow verbs, which have hitic yud. So in in the geminates and the hifil, we have no hitic yud, which is the mark of the hifil, or at least one of the really visible things. You see that hitic yud in strong verbs between the second and third radical, and you think, oh, okay, I probably have a hifil. Now we know that uh, sometimes this isn't a hitic yud, sometimes it's, it's, it's a tsere, but, but that hitic yud is very visible. Um, at least when you're looking at a text visually, at least I find it that way. So, in the geminates, you don't have that at all. So it's a bit harder to recognize a hifil that. Uh, it's a bit harder to recognize a hifil in the geminates because you don't have this at all anywhere. Okay, uh, second person switch. We have the prefix vowel that reduces, the theme vowel reduces, and we have the helping vowel. Prefix vowel, theme vowel, and helping vowel. Let's look at the prefix forms. Here they are here in green. And as I said before, we have the comets here. So the comets, the comets you'll see as a prefix vowel for the cal and the hifil in both um, hollows and geminates. That's important. Uh, that will give you a good hint as to what type of verb you have. As, okay, so prefix vowels, comets, like the hollow. The theme vowel is tsere. Again, just like the strong, or just like the perfect verbs, unlike the hollow, which has hitic yud. So tsere here and here, they all have tsere. And in the hollows, they all have 
all have uh, head of cute, or at least that's the base the base uh, theme vowel. So again, you don't have this mark of the head field. There's no head of cute to help you. So, okay, so those are the gemnets in the hifiel.